everyone, I'm Alexandra Devine. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for clicking on today's video. So as you'll have seen in the title, I'm going to be doing a wedding guest slash mother of the bride ASOS haul. All of the pieces in the haul today are definitely appropriate for wedding guests. However, there may only be maybe a few pieces in here that are more kind of along the normal mother of the bride lines. However, depending on what kind of mum you are, you might like all of them. We'll see. Um, if you like today's video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. All of the pieces in the haul today I will link down below in case you like the look of any of them. And just to give you guys some reference as well, um, I'm a size 8 in my normal everyday clothing size and I've ordered everything in the haul today in a size 8 as well, just so you can gauge like the fit of each piece and how it might fit on you. And for any of my brides who are subscribers, if any of your friends, family, mums have been asking you for tips on where they should go for their dresses, then you may want to share this video with them. I was sure not to pick up any pieces of course that were in white ivory or cream like nude colors um because obviously you know those are banned for your wedding day <laughs> all of the hats and fascinators featured in the video today are not from asos i'm afraid i did pick those up from my boutique the dress works for anyone who is new to my channel in normal times out of lockdown i am a co-owner of a bridal and prom boutique so it was really handy to be able to go and grab those so i could style up these pieces to kind of give you guys a bit more of a full a full kind of look of the the dress how it might look on the day dress number one i absolutely love now the color isn't going to be for everyone i think this hot pink color is like a love it or hate it i personally absolutely love it i think it's beautiful i think this is gorgeous for a summer wedding i absolutely love the back of this dress in fact i just love all of this dress actually i don't have a bad word to say about it i think it's a really nice length just such like an appropriate length for a wedding i love the high neck racer neckline and i just think the the back the fact that it's open and kind of has the crisscross cross detail makes it kind of summery keeps it young I, yeah, I just really, really love this one. This one was £35 and I think for the quality and the style, I do think that that is a good price for this dress, to be honest. I, yeah, I just love this one. So dress number two, as well as being a good guest option, I think this one could be quite well loved by the mums as well. So this one is in this beautiful navy colour. I like all of the details on this. It's got all this beautiful like lace detailing. I love this sleeve. This one is kind of a bit more conservative than the last dress because you have kind of a full covered in back and then the sleeve as well. And again, it's similar length and the material on this is just as beautiful. One thing that I really like about this is that you've kind of got these different colored flowers. So you could kind of for your like fascinator or hat, you can pick out any of these colors and kind of style it up in whichever way you kind of want. Um, so I really like that about this one. For me personally, I think it made me look a little bit older than what I am. So I possibly wouldn't pick this one personally. Um, just this, I, th I don't think that V neck here doesn't really suit me very much, but I do absolutely love the dress. I haven't got a bad word to say about it. And I think that this could look absolutely gorgeous on somebody out there. This dress was 55 pounds. So not the cheapest dress, but in the kind of realms of wedding guest and mother of the bride, like occasion wear, that, you know, if you're a mother of the bride and you can get a dress that you love for £55, that is probably a really good price. Dress number three is this beautiful forest green dress. I think this could be another good mother of the bride option, like as well as wedding guest option, because you've kind of got that kind of conservative back again. You've got the sleeve. It's a beautiful length. Now, the material on this is absolutely amazing quality. It's so, so heavy. It's a really, really thick material. I really like the skater style of this dress as well. I think that this could suit a lot of different body shapes. This one, it was £65. I picked it up in the sale for £48.75. And honestly, I, I mean, the quality of the material is just so, so good. I really like that it's kind of a really simple design, but that you've got this like really unusual neckline. I think that really kind of makes it kind of stand out. Like it doesn't need to necessarily have like a pattern or anything on it because it's got this really unusual neckline. I really, really love this one. So outfit number four, I thought this would be a really, really good option for anyone who doesn't necessarily like wearing dresses because it's still that kind of wedding-y design and that like wedding-y 
material like you know the kind of like material and design that you'd expect to see at a wedding it's very very kind of um, a good quality material uh, it's always got the, the floral pattern on it now this one so like I said at the beginning all the dresses are size 8 this one's also a size 8 I did get it zipped however this is by far the smallest piece that I have in the haul today I got it zipped but I just got it zipped and even though it was it because it was too tight i was kind of like struggling to breathe so if you really love this piece i would definitely recommend sizing up i definitely would not be comfortable to wear this like for like a full day because it definitely was too tight for that um this one was 48 pounds again for the quality of this i actually think that that is a good price because it is that kind of really really excellent quality material. I did try and find some more jumpsuit options as well to add to this haul, but to be honest with you, what I could find on ASOS, this was the only one that they had that was really kind of like occasion wear. All of the other jumpsuits were much more kind of casual or like night out style. This was like the only one that, you know, was, you know, considered like you know, wedding appropriate, um, which was a little bit of a shame because I did want to add maybe a couple more. But yeah, I think this is a really, really good option if you are maybe looking for a jumpsuit instead of a dress. I absolutely love the style of the next dress, but this was an absolute nightmare to get on. So you have to put this on over your head. So that's already not ideal if you have your hair and makeup already done. But making it even more complicated is the fact that it, this is kind of like two dresses stuck together. So you've kind of got the, the little kind of under slip dress and then the overlay dress on top. So it's super complicated um, to kind of navigate your way through whilst trying to avoid rub your, rubbing your face on it or knocking your hair out. Once it is on, I actually really, really like the design. I think it's really pretty. I like that it's kind of a shorter length but that it's still wedding appropriate because you've then got the sleeves and the high neck and the the beautiful kind of floral design on it again i think this would be fantastic for a summer wedding um would i would i risk it i mean to be fair i did have makeup on when i tried it on and um you know there is there is no makeup on there that's kind of rubbed off but it definitely was a bit stressful getting into it this one was 50 pounds i picked up in the sale for 37.50 i think to be honest 50 pound i possibly wouldn't want to pay 50 pound for this to be honest but 37.50 is definitely a little bit more reasonable dress number six is this pink cutout dress now i'm really disappointed with this one because i absolutely love this in the pictures on the website However, I, the cut out on the stomach is a lot wider than it looked on the website. And for me, I think it, I think it was possibly too much of a cut out because I think I mean, from the back, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it from the back. So wedding occasion wear appropriate. However, from the front, because of the gap, it kind of looks like I'm off down to the beach and the gap is so wide that when I'm at a wedding and obviously I want to be eating a lot and drinking a lot and I think that by the end of the day I'm going to definitely be a little bit self-conscious about this bit um so yeah I didn't I think had it not have had that at all or it only been a tiny gap then I would have absolutely loved this because again I love the color the length the pattern everything but unfortunately, I just, I think this cutout was just way, way too big. This one was £42. The final dress in the haul today is this navy satin one shoulder dress. Now, again, I'm a little bit disappointed with this one as well, to be honest, just because it's a little bit, just a little bit different in real life. So it doesn't have any zips or way of getting into it. I honestly spent about 20 minutes being like, no, surely this has a zip. Um, it has to just go straight over your head and it's not a stretchy material so again if you've got your hair done and your makeup done it's a little bit of a struggle and because it's a non-stretchy material and it has to go over your head it means that it's not really fitted properly to your body i think i show it at some point in the try on clip that it's just basically kind of like just baggy everywhere and so i just i don't think it personally really did anything for me um but the quality of the dress itself the material is really really nice this one was 45 pounds um and yeah i mean if you like the style to be fair it is a nice dress 
but I think I was just expecting it to come a little bit more fitted. So I think that's what kind of threw me off with this one. But yeah, I can't fault the quality. It is a lovely, lovely quality dress. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope it kind of got you a bit excited for all of the events that we can go to once this lockdown is over and maybe you saw a piece that you like as well. If you did like today's video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.